Okay, so this is basically where I ended off yesterday. Uh, as you can see, it's a pretty clear trail right now. Not too wide. Um, and I'm basically going to go to the left of where I am right now and head down towards the water. So pretty basic stuff, but it's going to be a lot of work. So let's get going. So these guys are dug in pretty good, so they're not too hard to take out, but the best way to do it is just give them a quick kick like that, and boom, they're out, no problem, super quick. They grow back super fast too, so like, not doing really any damage, like, they, there's millions of these things all over here, so. I wish they were a more useful plant, I guess. As you can see, I've taken the path of least resistance, this is an old horse trail. And uh, just something that uh, made a lot of sense. So when I thought about the route, this is something I took into account when I got started. Okay, so we're down to my first obstacle. This guy should be easy to cut through. I got the saw right there. Uh, I'm just gonna cut them in half and then swing them over. Should be done. Pass looking really good. It's kind of twisty and windy and kind of following the contours. You can see where water would run through so I'm kind of dipping in and out of that because I want to stay up above anywhere where water will naturally run as much as possible. So I'm going to run back to the uh, camp for a second get some water, forgot that, come back, pack this guy up, still a long road ahead and it's going to get a little worse because I've got a ground hemlock which is kind of a pain to deal with so maybe I'll grab, grab a handsaw as well. Uh, uh, yeah. That, that would probably help a lot. Thankfully it's pretty rotten, so it shouldn't be too dense in the center. It looks like it's a pine, so it's not gonna be too hard to cut through. Maybe when I get halfway, I'll give her a boot and see if, uh, see if she'll just break off break for me. That's the hope at least. Oh yeah, perfect. That was a lot of work, totally worth it. So now, nice easy path down here, great place to hang out. I'm gonna go back and touch up some things. I got another log I gotta cut. I'm gonna clean this area all out so we can make it into like a campfire hangout area. So uh, yeah, this is, this is amazing. A lot of work though. <laughs> Okay, we're all done for the moment. Everything looks great. Area's all cleared out. It's getting about lunchtime, so I better get something to eat. The bugs are out really bad down here, just near the water. So uh, bug spray wore off, so I'm out of here. And uh, man, I'm hungry. That was a lot of work. I really love having a fire, as you all know, but uh, at the end of the day, it uh, makes it twice as hot around here. What are you gonna do? But uh, that's the reality, so. 
Pretty excited. I got some maple bacon. It's gonna be super tasty, but the goal right now is to get this fire kind of going really well, just like yesterday, and I'll uh, get a pot of coffee on. So I'm gonna try this again. I put more water in the enamel pot, and we're gonna see if we can get it to actually make coffee this time, which would be great. So yeah, so no big deal. We're just gonna give that a try again, but right for now we're just gonna get a fire going and, um, and uh, yeah, get something to eat. I'm hungry. The fire here is so efficient with these rocks around it. It creates so much heat that I can't get my hand near any of this when it's at full bore. So I had to go out and buy like a cheap extended spatula just so I could cook. I burned myself pretty bad there the other day and I didn't know it until it already just kind of like jumped at me. It was just amazing how much heat this, uh, this little uh, pit can develop. So. This is my way of counteracting that. It's still really hot. Like, any closer and I'll burn my hand. Ah, man down! Man down! I didn't plan. I didn't plan ahead very well. Uh, I didn't bring a plate of any type. Um, that's okay. Bacon's a little overcooked, but again, that's all right. Just bacon. It's surprising how fast this stove pit, whatever you want to call it, it just creates so much heat. So much heat. And actually, I decided I wasn't going to cook my eggs right now because it's so hot right now. It would just, it would be just, they would just disintegrate. I think so. I'm going to sit here and enjoy some of this bacon. I don't know. Maybe you guys can see that. Maybe not. Anyways, I'm just going to sit here and enjoy my bacon.
It looks really good. It is extremely hot right now. My brain says, don't try it yet. But my taste buds say, ah, what the hell. Not bad, not bad. A little watery. So I had probably too much water or not enough coffee grounds. So that will be something I have to work on. Um, the downside is I don't need that much coffee. It's a lot of coffee in there. Probably two more of those, two or three more of those. So yeah, what do you do? Still good though. Bacon turned out fine though. Nom 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 Yep, coffee got better as it went along. Still not good enough though. I think I need more, uh, definitely need more coffee grounds for that volume. But eggs are all done. Uh, not as burnt. It was almost like deep frying them in fat. There was so much fat from the bacon, but it's gonna be awesome any which way. While those are cooling down, uh, yeah, not much going on. Life's pretty good. Work's going well, keeping me busy. Um, obviously the cabin plans are kind of just a little bit here, a little bit there. Uh, yeah, things are really good right at the moment. Peak of the summer, we're going to go camping out at East Point, I think. And uh, got hiking in September, so it's a bit of a ways away. As far as the channel is concerned, I mean, it seems to be doing well. Um, 740 odd subscribers at the making of this video um, It's kind of stalemated for the last week or so it hasn't gone up or down so you know I think I've crescendoed for the uh, summertime. Uh, I find that winter tends to do better I think people are in watching videos a bit more so hey no big deal. That's just the way it is I'm happy with 740. I mean I'd like to reach a thousand by the end of the year, but you know what it is what it is It's just I'm having fun making these videos. I'm really enjoying now chronicling uh, you know the things that I do and uh, yeah it's it's all working out really well in the long run I have a good base of fans or I guess you can call them fans um, people that enjoy watching these videos and and they comment and that's all that matters to me and I have again three patrons that uh, are helping out enormously I'm saving some of that money so I can buy a microphone for this guy so that I can frame some better shots and things like that out of that um, that way uh, I don't have to get the camera so close all the time. Um, just trying to present some clear audio with less wind, but I, th I think it's fine. Like I, I, I watch my videos and I understand myself quite clearly, but you know, there are people out there that, that demand better quality and I think I should demand better quality of myself and, and uh, that's, that's the nature of progress. Um, but at the end of the day, I, I really enjoy making videos. I really love editing and mashing things up and putting things together, creating soundscapes a little bit, playing with music and that that kind of thing. So if you're new to the channel, that's, that's the kind of stuff I'm going for. A lot of my older stuff is a little more plain. I mean, that, and that goes for a lot of people because it takes a while to learn some of these things. Uh, we don't get this overnight. You, you know, I'm constantly getting ideas from other people's videos and one might think that's ripping off, but it's not really. We're, nothing's really original. Everything is learned from something. It's very rare, very rare that somebody does something extremely original like 
maybe Sam Colder. He, you know, that guy does transitions like nobody's business, yo. Um, but the originality, I think, comes in the personality. So if you don't like the personality, then it's not going to feel original to you. And, uh, or it might be original and it's, uh, you know, the, the personality isn't really there, but there's, you know, editing and things like that kind of bring you into that world a little bit more. And then as time goes on, I find, especially when that happens, you know, that person does have a really great personality. You just sometimes don't see it until it comes out in the editing. It's really interesting how you can shape something post-production because if you were, you know, if you were to watch my footage as a big clump, I mean, there's a lot of boring, stupid stuff in there and it wouldn't make a, it would make some sense because I film chronologically and sensically. Only now that I, I really kind of go back and do, let's say, post shots. So say I want some nature shots at a certain time of day, I'll go shoot those afterwards and then maybe tie those in afterwards. Or I'll stop halfway through and do that and just kind of do some panning shots and whatnot like that. That's what I'm trying to get into is just some of that cinematic feel, but it's uh, it's all tricky. It's all uh, it's all a lot of work. So, but that's what I find fun is is making it um, a presentation. Maybe I don't, I don't know. It's hard to, it's hard to say what 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 I mean by it, but. I enjoy it. Uh, there's a certain group of people out there that enjoy it, which is all that matters. And uh, yeah, and if you guys have any suggestions, you know, feel free to pass them along. I mean, I may or may not, uh, you know, take them and use them. I don't know. Like, it all depends. Like, but I'm always open to suggestions. That's how we learn. That's how we get to new levels and doing new things. And, and with this cabin, I mean, God, any suggestions? If anybody has, you know, some simple, neat construction ideas that aren't costly. Uh, I'm all ears because I, I, I really, I, I'm a very basic kind of person when it comes to this stuff. The original one's always but really basic and then I learn how to be creative outside of that quote unquote box, right? And that's my, my Achilles heel is like I need to do a foundation before I start to realize, oh, I could have done that, I could have done that, blah, blah, blah. And so what I'm trying to do with this is make it as good as possible but functional before... I actually build it and I don't want to build it in t too many unknown phases so right now where I'm at 10 by 10 8 feet between the base floor to the ceiling or the loft a loft at a four foot four foot apex uh, two feet about five feet apart from center so two and a half feet each side so enough for two people to sleep at two to four feet on the apex uh, inside the cabin, you're going to have obviously, well, uh, uh, windows facing, uh, would be southeast-ish. So when the light comes in, it's going to come around and hit right into the loft. Uh, there's going to be a small staircase slash ladder, um, not taking up too much room, probably pretty steep. So you can get up and down easily to restoke the fire, because that was another issue that came up. Obviously storage behind that, maybe wood storage. A wood stove in one of the corners. Uh, obviously access to a doorway in and out. And then a card table with a couple small chairs so two people could sit and have a normal dinner. And then from there, uh, maybe some uh, small, very, you know, shelves or cupboards. Probably a couple cupboards and, and, and shelves. Cupboards for possibility of mice and then shelves for everything else. And then maybe a sink. Maybe a sink to... Uh, to just just wash your hands with biodegradable soap that kind of stuff you know just cleaning up stuff so you don't have to go outside and and fill around um so yeah that's that's my goal that's what i would like to do um i have other ideas of what i'd like to do like i wouldn't mind doing a 12 by 12 to be honest with you and i wouldn't mind doing like a one of those barn roofs where they're kind of like in two two phases that way it'll shed snow really well but i don't know how hard that is to make so uh, that that can be decided actually near the end. It also makes the loft a lot bigger, so that's something that's that's really good. So the reality is there are some choices to be made, but I do know that if I settle on the 10 by 10, I can get to as far as the the the, the walls and the floor and get it all leveled and and set up and and maybe framed out for the the doors and uh, windows. I think I'm unfortunately going to have to cut out artifacts I have don't have windows, and I'm going to have to get them on the cheap, maybe even free and and then cut out accordingly and i think that would be kind of fun i think you could make a really interesting looking building it might look like shit too but i don't know if i 
I don't I don't know. I, I don't I don't make these types of structures very often. I work in bigger ones like that, installing electrical, but not not this. But my experience building the deck at home has given me a lot of insight on how to start this project, which is a big thing. The first upfront cost is the floor. And the biggest upfront cost is not so much the lumber um, that's the problem and the, and the, the cinder block, say. Eh? It's really going to come down to uh, the flooring itself. And that's going to cost a lot, and the walls are going to cost a lot. But we're thinking of OSB, which is just chipboard or flake board. And uh, it can't get wet, though. I can't, I have to buy it, get it up, and paint it like within a day or two. Because if I don't, it's just going to ruin it. So, and I'll have to buy a tarp to cover stuff over. So there's so, so much stuff to do, and uh, I'm really excited to do it. I'm waiting for to get a little more financially stable. So I'm hoping in the next month I'll get it underway. Um, like maybe next weekend I'll just get the cinder blocks and, and cut out the holes for it. And then the next step would to be actually just frame the floor. The third step would be to put the floor on, then buy enough wood to frame the walls. You know, and it's just it's just little bit by lip, a uh, little bit by lip, little bit by bit. So. Yeah, I mean, in a perfect world, I'd have lots of money, and every weekend I would just run off to the store and buy the wood that I need and, and nails and whatnot and, and get her all done. But the reality is, is uh, also, I don't have a mode of transportation. I think I'll have to borrow uh, a family member's truck. There's a couple couple available, um, but, you know, uh, one, I wouldn't be able to drive on my own. I wouldn't be allowed, so therefore I'd have to ask for that person to make up some time and then we'll go drive in and da, 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 and then have to buy them some beer and that's all good but you got to schedule that the other one might be a little more flexible but we'll wait and see so so logistical challenges financial challenges come with all these projects big or small uh, uh, my my thought is probably under a thousand dollars for the to get it all up and standing and and just covered and not and not rained on and not uh, not degrading while it's standing there so anyways i think my eggs have cooled off enough so i'll stop prattling on so i'm gonna leave it there for today guys there's no point in dragging this one out i'm not going to do too much more i'm just going to buck up some wood uh that's been sitting there a while it's super dry out i'm going to sweat like crazy doing it so you guys don't need to see that sweaty sweaty walsh in the woods not it's called walsh in the woods not sweaty walsh in the woods you know god who wants to watch that not many people so I'm going to let you go guys. Again, uh, thanks for watching. I really appreciate it. If you like this video, hit the like button down below. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. And uh, yeah, have a great day. Take care.